This was the toughest job we'd ever tackled. Bill Jones of Forest Research had asked us if our big XAG P40 drone could be used for reseeding forestry land in Scotland. Well, naturally, the answer was yes. It's just as happy spreading as it is spraying. But it wasn't until we found out exactly where Bill had in mind that we began to understand the true nature of the challenge. His target were the steep mountain slopes that surround the Rest and Be Thankful Road, just north of Glasgow, Scotland. The A83 is the main arterial road that links Glasgow to the west coast of Scotland and has a constant flow of traffic. However, it is plagued by landslides that regularly close the road and the detour adds hours to the driver's journey, which has a real impact on local businesses. Bill's goal was to replant the main slip sites with varieties of native birch trees in an attempt to stabilise the slopes. Working in conjunction with Forest Land Scotland, he'd assembled a crack team with all the necessary skills. We needed people who knew this landscape like the back of their hand and had the type of resilience that you only get from working on mountains for a living. This is where James, JP and Ethan from FLS came in. Our first step was to build a temporary takeoff and landing shelf on a mountainside where nothing was level. We then loaded the drone's 25 litre hopper with fine birch seed, checked the spreading system and worked through all our safety checks. Once we were happy with the takeoff and landing site, we needed to find a suitable location for the RTK antenna and the pilot that would maximise signal integrity and ensure a constant line of sight to the drone. Once we'd found a suitable site, James explained exactly where he wanted the different birch varieties to be planted and we came up with a flight plan. Finally, it was time to get flying. We were using a slower than average flight speed simply to account for the big variations in terrain and the P40's terrain tracking kept it at a constant height above the surface. The total distance from the takeoff point to the slip site was only 380 meters, but because the pilot was located a further 200 meters towards the target area, the drone was never more than 200 meters away from him. Given the extreme nature of the terrain, we were taking a belt and braces approach to safety. As soon as the drone senses that its hopper is empty, it immediately heads back to the landing site. It records the exact location where it ran out and will automatically resume spreading at that location. This ensures an even coverage. As soon as the drone lands, the ground team are ready to quickly swap out the battery and refill the hopper. Although you can safely undertake a number of flights on a single battery, we find it more efficient to change it each time it lands. That way, it only takes five minutes to recharge and of course our safety margin is increased. Then it's back to work on another section of the slip side. Getting the right weather for a job like this is vital. The birch seed is very light and a strong wind would cause it to drift from its intended site. Whilst this wouldn't be a big problem in this case, we were keen to get as much seed onto the most important sites as possible. A quick estimate by one of the team members put the number of seeds distributed at 20 million plus. If only 1% of those seeds germinate, there could soon be 200,000 new birch trees helping to keep the rest and be thankful road open. After a successful day, we headed back down the mountain and left the rest to Mother Nature.